بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد حبت في الله الله سبحانه وتعالى says في كتاب الكريم يرفع الله الذين امنوا والذين اوتوا العلم درجات that Allah has raised those people who believe and those who are given knowledge different levels so the ahl ilm the people of knowledge the ulama the scholars are raised on a whole nother level in this life as well as the next and it's very important for us to take advantage of the ulama the scholars while we still have scholars living especially those elders who are known for their strict adherence to kitab illa wa sunnah rasul sallallahu alayhi wasallam and who are known for their intishara sunnah that they have been known for spreading the sunnah and so my advice to my brothers and sisters who are living in the west is benefit from your students of knowledge there and benefit from when the ulama come to your lands as we know especially in the UK also in America you have ulama from Ahlus Sunnah coming there and other parts of Europe you also have scholars sometimes visiting but when those conferences come and the ulama actually show up there and also by telephone or telelink or whatever benefit from them don't sleep for one minute to at least have some benefit from sitting in the presence of an alam to sitting in the presence from ah you know those people who know the sunnah of the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and teach it and share it with the people the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said may yuridullahu bihi khayran yafiqahu fi din whenever allah wants good for a person he gives him understanding of the religion so this is a part of the benefit that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala favors on his slaves whom so from those whomsoever he pleases is that he gives them knowledge and raises them gives them an understanding of the deen and the ulama mention al mafhum al mukhalif al mafhum al mukhalif in this hadith that the 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 implication the 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 implied meaning of this hadith is that the one who is not given knowledge who stays in their same status regards to knowledge in islam is not loved by Allah. So that's very serious. That has very ser serious implications for you and I that we have to begin to practice and uh, practice better and we have to gain more knowledge. We have to better ourselves and 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 better our families by teaching, by learning and teaching. Ayul ahbab, I just wanted to remind myself and my brothers and sisters about that important the importance of seeking the knowledge from the ulama especially and those who go off to study in the lands uh, where there are ulama like in, in most most of the muslim world you'll find ulama and scholars that if they are blessed to go to those lands to seek knowledge in a university or what have you to make some time for sitting with the ulama as well because this is what's going to really help your understanding and help you uh, and follow the traditional way of scholarship uh, in Islam, which is taking knowledge from the people of knowledge. And the Salaf used to say, "Men, men, sheikhihi, men, men kitabi, men, men kitabuhu sheikhihi, wahu dal, or kama qal, or kama qil." That the Salaf used to say that whoever whoever has their books as their source of knowledge is misguided why because then when you just have the books you have the tendency to have your own understanding and you see this you can see a difference we have a lot we have many du'at in the west that we see and and you'll be surprised in the muslim lands i know even one sheikh who has knowledge we benefit from him but he does not have the synod of having studied with many with, with ulama, if you look at even his website, he doesn't have that. Even though he's a scholar, we respect him, 
But what you find is those people who do not have the benefit of having studied with the ulama and they use only their books and depend upon only their books and their understanding a lot of times they make uh, more mistakes. They usually have a tendency to make more mistakes on issues because they didn't have the fruits and the benefits of having studied with the ulama of Ahl Sunnah. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.